Hello everyone, my name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel, RP Technohub. Before we get started with the today's session, I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and making it 200 subscriber channel. I request you to keep supporting my channel like the way you're doing. In today's session, we're going to learn about Invoke VBA activity in UiPath. So when do we use this activity? Let's see. So here I got a sample Excel sheet. It has got number one, number two, and result columns and couple of records. Let's say you want to find out, you want to do certain operation on number one and number two using a VBA code, okay? So we need to first uh, make a setting here, go to Excel options, go to Trust Center and click on Trust Center settings and go to macro settings and make sure you select this trust access to the VBA project object model. Just select that and click OK and click OK. And now we need to create a VBA code, right? So for that, let me just open notepad. So what I'm doing, we need to find out A plus B whole square. Let's assume this as a complex operation. Okay, so function a b square so function is a keyword right a b square is the function name and to make it reusable what i'm doing i'm parameterizing it a is the first parameter and b is the second parameter so whenever you call this function these two parameters are required to be passed so that it will be generic right so what do what are we doing we are finding out a plus b whole square and that needs to be returned from this function so a p square just mention a b square the function name right the same function name and assign it a value so that whenever this function is called particular value will be written to the written by this particular function okay so what what are we doing let's build the expression here a square plus b square that is b into b plus two a b that is two star a b a star b okay so this will return a plus b whole square value that will be stored in a b square a b square function name right and that will be written whenever this function is called okay so we need to close the function right end function okay let's save it now so how can we save this so it's a VBA code, right? VBS, so dot VBS, that is VB script. So just, uh, I'm just naming it as invoke VBA dot VBS, okay? VBS means VB script. So it's a VB script. So it seems to be already present. Let me just replace that. Yeah, we good there. So just, uh, just go to, now, what do we need to do? So we need to find out A plus B whole square for each of this record using that VBS file. So first of all, we need to read that. So just look for Excel application scope. This invoke VBA can be used within Excel application scope only. So let's drag and drop Excel application scope and uh, go to that particular Excel path. So that is invoke VBA. Just give a right click, copy as path and then uh, give the path here. And uh, what do we need to do? So we need to find out A plus B whole square for each of the records, right? So let's read the complete range of that Excel. So sheet one, and let me just go create a variable called data content. And I'm, I'm creating a variable data content, the data, data table variable got created. And now we need to iterate through each and every record for each row for each row and uh, data content for each row in this data table. So what do we need to do? So we need to store these values inside certain variables. So we need to pass them as parameters to the VBA, right? That is that VBS, VBA function. So let's just look for multiple assign. Just drag and drop multiple assign here. And uh, here row of the first number is present in the first column that is zero that is index dot two string 
and I'm just converting it into C int. C int. So I'm just converting this into integer so that so that it will be it can be stored in an integer value, integer variable. So so just I'm creating number one variable and I'm just changing it to int 32 so that we got rid of that particular error, right? And similarly, I'm just pasting whatever I copied earlier, right? So the second value, the second number is present in the second column that is first index. Just create a variable number two. And uh, here we got an error. Let's get rid of that just by changing type of number two variable. We have read that. Now we just need to use Excel, right? Under Excel, we have got invoke, invoke VBA, just drag and drop that and uh, just specify the code file path. That means on the properties panel, if you see, so here we need to provide the path of the VBS file, okay? That VBS file, just select this, hold shift button, give a right click, and copy as path. And here I'm just hard coding it for the time being. And click OK. And what is the entry method name? So if you observe, this VBA can contain multiple functions. OK, so this VBS file can contain multiple functions as a library. So you can call any of the function you want. So here we need to explicitly specify the method name. So my function is a b square, right? a b square. And does it require any parameters to be passed? Yes, it's a generic function. It requires to pass. It requires to have a two parameters to be passed, right? So just in curly brackets, in curly brackets, number one, Okay, just remove this number one, comma, number two. Okay, close the curly brace. And this is how you can call a VBA code, that means a VB script from Excel, and you can specify the function name, the method name, okay, the function name, and if it has any parameters, then that parameters can be passed in the from this third argument. Okay, number one, comma number two in curly braces, and it will it is written in me a value, right? If you see, it is written in me a plus b whole square value. So so that needs to be stored. Result. I'm just storing it in result variable, which is of type object. We're good now, and we need to store it. We need to write it back to Excel, right? We need to write it back to Excel. So what I'm doing, I'm just looking for assign activity, assign activity, drag and drop that. And uh, where is it required to be stored? In the third column, that is second index, row of two. And what needs to be stored? Result needs to be stored. And that way, all of the records will be processed and then we need to write it back to Excel. All of the records will be processed and the data table, var data table variable will hold the results. And uh, what do we need to do? We just need to look for right range, right range that is present under app integration. Just drag and drop right range. And uh, I want to write it into the same sheet. Okay, so data table that is data content. Now it has got the results also starting from what starting from here okay i want the data content to be written from here so this will be overwritten anyways so a2 this is a2 right so just give a2 a2 and uh, do you want to add headers since we are writing it from here so we need not uh, add headers i'm just leaving it that way and uh, now let me close this and
and let us see. So let me just run it in debug mode. F5, I just pressed F5. And if I go in here, there you go. I got the A plus B whole square values of each and every record. I hope the session is informative. 